Welcome back to the channel. So I'm back in Toke. I got a trailer full of tools behind me here. And my dad's supposed to be meeting him here anytime now. So hopefully he gets into Toke just fine. I, he rolled through the Yukon and passed the border this morning. It is 1.30 in the afternoon. A little cloudy today in Toke, but excited to get the summer started and get my dad here so we can get to work. All right, well, Dad made it. The trailer on top, he's gonna be living in. He built that to live in, and the trailer on the bottom is one he brought up for me. It's a our new dump trailer. I mean, you'll work if you come straight back, but you don't wanna go in the trees anymore. You're good. All right, so we're out here at a loading ramp fairly close to where the property is, and we have to get Dad's trailer that trailer out of that trailer. And the only way to do it is we're gonna hook a winch to the front on the tongue of this trailer. And we're gonna to try to ease it down the ramp here. We'll see what happens. The dump trailer's tipped up just enough, but we need the truck to finish pulling it off. We'll see how it goes. We got it. I don't know how much of that I captured on video, but what a pain. We folded that wheel there. So that no longer exists, but got it down safe. Okay, we've pretty much all set up here uh, on the property and I wanted to give you guys a, a look and see kind of what our living arrangements are like. I'll show you what my dad has set up here first. So he's living in a enclosed trailer that he had built, or that he built. And so you can kind of see where we're at as far as the property. There's the foundation. So we're kind of living on the gravel pad. There's his solar power. And then this is his outdoor shower. And he's running propane tanks and batteries and everything inside is set up um, so it's got you know the bed everything you would expect in a camper so that's all set up inside there and then outside here This box here he made, it's got a black pipe in it and holds seven gallons of water. It's a solar, to solar heat the water. And then he has a pump that he pumps it for his shower. And then, so that's kind of his setup, real basic, real simple. And then of course, you, I'm living in the RV back here. Uh, we got a little freezer for our food for the summer. And then a little cook stove, propane grill, 
<clears throat> right there. So we got our freezer, our pro propane grill. And then this is set on top of our septic. Here's our septic system. And so I'll be able to dump the RV right into the pipes, which is gonna dump right into our septic. So pretty handy, pretty handy setup. This is our living arrangements for the summer. And then we're gonna get that foundation built up. All right, well, I finally got the lumber back over to the property from where we had it stored here in town. It's back here. We need to get it on the deck or on the ground here off the trailer. And then we gotta get organized and start figuring out what we're gonna do as far as building the subfloor or building our floor. Priority this right now is to build this floor here so that we can backfill the foundation. The floor is gonna give the walls support so that when it's backfilled, uh, we don't have any kind of worry about the walls bowing in or anything like that, especially on the 50 foot stretch. Just gives it a little extra support. And then we're gonna backfill and hopefully bring all that gravel that's back here and we'll slope it away from the house and get it all cleaned up nice and then bring in some topsoil. All right, so the next plan of attack today is, let me show you down here. When we poured the foundation, you can see these pieces of wood stretched across the footer to help to stabilize the blocks, these Fox blocks, while we stacked them up. And then we poured a monolithic pour, so meaning we poured the footer and the wall in one pour. These things now stick out and need to be cut off flush with the footer you can see how it's not flush so i need to cut these off and the idea is we're going to be wrapping peel and stick membrane so it's going to come down the wall down to the footer it's going to wrap and go down the footer a little bit peel and stick membrane is what's going to waterproof this this uh foundation and then once we do that, we can start building, putting the sill plate on and all that good stuff to start putting your subfloor on. But we got to start at the base here. So first things first, we got to cut those boards and then get the peel and stick stuck on here. That's what we're up to. So we've cut these off flush and we need to put the the rubberized coating on this but here watch watch this see the white powder the white powder on my finger this whole thing is just full look at that hand it's all chalky and that's because it sat through the winter and so i've got my dad doing some slave labor and washing the wall anyway so we got to wash the walls all the way around to try and get the uh, uh rubber membrane to stick to the wall and so that sticks while we backfill because we have a lot to do and it needs to stick and these actually stick to the wall. It doesn't just hang there. It actually has to stick to the wall to, to waterproof this. So 
we gotta wash the walls oh there you go there's a really good spot just covered in white anyways so that's what we're doing washing the walls a little extra labor but it's kind of a necessity at this point all right well i just got back from wasilla i had to run for parts which is never fun but we got to a stopping point with the thing we're trying to do is our water system i gotta get this well hooked up so that we can have water even for our rvs you can see here that pipe goes we stretched it out because it was in a coil so we stretched it out so it were, would relax that long pipe you see there next to the gravel pit or next to the gravel pile is what we need to hook our pump to and then the pump and the associated wiring will go down in the hole and we'll hook that up to our generator and hopefully be able to run our well pump let's see how it goes it's a little bit of a cruddy day today it's overcast it rained last night things are a little bit wet but overall it's not too bad i've got here let me show you so we got all this pipe in the back of my truck and what that pipe is going to be buried and we're going to run from the house right here over to where the tractor is here in the woods and i'll take you out here So while I was gone, my dad jumped in the tractor and cleared this all out. So back here in the woods, we've cleared out a spot for the generator building here. So this spot right here is where we're going to build our generator building. So we're approximately 150 feet from the house. That I'm putting it that far away simply for noise reduction. We're gonna have a muffler on the, the uh, generator, but being in the building and setting it away from the house a ways will help with noise. So we'll talk more about this building, but that's where we're at. We need to get the water system hooked up and that is our priority. All right, so this is the pump we got this is a franklin three-quarter horse 220 pump all right so here's the well pump this is the pipe i showed you earlier the, the pump's going to hook to the end of this but to do that we have to have this fitting here so we had to put a reducer on there to get it from uh one inch to one and a quarter this right here is our shrink pipe and our crimps to put the wires together this makes everything waterproof down to the well obviously the pump's going to be set down we have a 142 foot well Static water is sitting at 120 feet. Well pump will sit down at 130. At least that's our plan. All right, let's put it together. Watch your fingers. Okay, that one's done. Okay, that one's done. Yep, we're good. As long as you seal it. Looks like it's gone all the way around. Good. Okay, so you guys saw us just uh, heat shrink the fittings, which waterproofs the connections that are going to be down in the well pipe. And you can see there this this stuff, a rosin. Let's see if I can get in close. See that that rosin that comes out after you heat it? That's what's sealing this up. So it all looks good. All sealed up. So now our next step is 
to get this fitting. We need to get some Teflon tape around this and get this fitting stuck in the end of the well pump. And then in this end, that pipe. Let's see. Don't, because I think right there. <laughs> what? What? You don't even know you do it, do you? You're talking about on videos? Every one of those videos. You yeah, do. you know who? how many people have told me that? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we laugh so much at the noises you make. I was like, oh, great. <laughs> That's Ryan. I have done it my whole life, so I, you have. <laughs> I just, it's been pointed out multiple times. I thought there was a horse in the background. <laughs> I bet you had to tell you that too. <laughs> Where was that horse in the, mm. you never fit you. So we got the well pump put together, the pipe's all there, the wire's connected. Here's our actual well. We're getting the T put on the pressure tank here. And uh, once we get the T put on, we're gonna set it on the footer we poured in the center of the foundation where our pony wall is gonna go. And we're just going to frame around it, so give it a level foundation for the pressure tank. Uh, so that's kind of where we're at. We'll get this pressure tank set up, drop the well, pump into the well, ease it down in there. And right here are the pieces for the well cap. You got all the pieces for the well cap here. And then it's a rubber piece that basically the pipe will go through and the pipe's gonna come straight out the top of the well and we'll crush it in there. Uh, and this should expand and crush to fit the pipe and then everything's good. We'll hook it to the pressure tank and we'll move on from there. Wire everything in, hopefully we can get the water today. I'll show you guys what we got so here's our control box for the pump so the black wire goes and comes from the well pump then we've got the pipe coming up and over to the pressure tank the yellow wire goes from the pressure tank to the control box and then we've got we have rigged up this extension cord here to go to a generator out there. It's a 5,000 watt generator going to our pressure switch. And so here we go for our first water. Try it. 
Pressure switch didn't kick on. Oh, there it went. Ah, we got water. Looks like we've got a few leaks to deal with. A little bit of dripping going on here, but overall, looks like we're working. Well, we got the water system working and we're gonna run it, clean the water up. It needs to cycle for a while, so we're just gonna keep that generator running and keep pumping that water, let it clean itself up a little bit. And then we officially have water. Oh man, I'm so happy we got our water. It is awesome. It's running clear. Cool, we're getting about 20 gallons a minute. Oh. Oh man, it tastes so good. Oh, it's so good. I've been told that we we do have hard water here, but it is running clear. Look good and whoo, it's oh. All right, we're super excited. Water systems in. One step further in the process. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. We'll see you on the next one.